Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed 2 adventures here in Assassin's Creed 2. Our Italian adventures. So, last time we did a lot. We killed Frederico. Uh, yeah, I think it was Frederico. Federico de, pa de Pazzi. And uh, now we're after Jacopo and his merry band of fox. And uh, it was only through just because uh, my brain went, hmm, I should rebalance the quality of my recordings through OBS. So uh, basically did a little bit, got some armor because while through my attempts to rebalance my recording, the, some time went by. I was like, oh, might as well grab the things. It's not really that big a thing. And then I realized there are four freaking missions in Tuscany. So... I have no idea. I think it's probably for each of them and they'll all build up to Jacopo. Probably. So what we'll do is... Uh, like, we'll do that. Synchronization tower, the mission. Synchronization tower, synchronization tower, the mission. Synchronization tower, synchronization tower. And then head into the city at long last. I just didn't expect there to be that many, because at first, when I was, like, just playing the game normally, last time I thought there was only one mission in Tuscany. <coughs> and then, when I was doing my little tests for the video quality recording to make it a little bit better, I noticed, oh, I guess there are two. No, there's four. There's four of them. I guess it makes sense, because we are after a whole cabal of monstrosities and there is a oh yeah and we're wanted in this world fine we'll kill you all cannot escape come on hit me hit me hard i'll smack you all to death then no mercy and you're just what cleaning your pants in the middle of a fight you fools. But now we have to look for a glyph that's here, apparently, and a feather. Once again, getting 100% feather is going to be ever so slightly a pain. If only... Not not even because it's a 100... Well, kind of because it's 100. Mostly because there's 100 feathers, and the feathers are anywhere in the world. Out here in the countryside. So that's a bit painful. Can't climb that. I guess I can just walk in. It doesn't hurt to just walk in. It is an open monastery, apparently. Just looking for the glyph. Looking for the glyph. Apparently there's a patrol of dudes. Out to eat the souls of innocent. Or maybe they're just normal guards, but at the same time, you can just assume guards are evil. Why presume people of power good when can presume people power bad? It's the only way to live. Here, Gliffy. Here, Gliffy, Gliffy. Here, Gliff, Gliff. Here, Heathcliff. Here, Cliffy. Gliffy. We just need a glyph with the splintered psyche of a uh, crazed assassin descendant. Ah, it looks like a house. The best Something thing. Something was up there. Something abandoned long ago. That's a that's very cryptic and disturbing. Apollo. So what you're saying is they oh. ab. Abandoned something on the moon. That's... <laughs> Is it going to turn out that the, the moon landing was faked with a piece of Eden? With these formidable weapons, the adversaries of freedom plan to consolidate their territory to exploit and finally destroy. Uh. All right. 
right? Uh, going to assume that we kind of want to I don't even know what, what this one wants. I'm going to assume that it, all of these are kind of the same to a degree. And that we want to kind of match to the inner circle. Don't even know what it just doesn't help that it's kind of a funky puzzle. Or we can try to match it up like that. Puzzles like these just flip my head inside out and hurts me. If that one is... There we go. Actually, who? Ikoti pekoti. Very bothersome puzzle. He is eating my soul alive, if you ask me. Something ish. Yeah, something like that. Jobs me in bloody sane. I don't like the ones that are like, so psych, you control multiple rings at the same time, and meh. It just messes with my head. I, I, I. Ah, you hurt me. You hurt me. You hurt me. Please cease and desist. All right. Or it could be that each one is like different. There, that one's. Ay, ay, ay. I get it in the end, but it's just like, when it's like, oh, we're going to bounce all around on the ones that do and do not, just like, g -g 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 -g. <laughs> drives me insane. I don't know if it like has something to do with OCD or what, it just hurts me. It's right there, game. I know it's right there. <laughs> Check deep underground. It was easy. Like, props to them for making, like, interesting puzzles, because it is an interesting puzzle. I personally dislike it because it messes with my fucking head. But it's still a good puzzle. I just personally don't like it when it's like, all right, we're gonna have you move this piece singularly. 
And then we're gonna have you move this piece literally at the same time as the other piece that you just moved. So you have to go constantly back and forth. Especially when the puzzle pieces are so big and you have to match them to a smaller inside piece. Like you have to find quote unquote landmarks within the puzzle itself and it just drives me insane. Hurts my brain. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yes. Well, I guess we'll jump down, get the treasure, and do the mission because we're here. Hopefully, it doesn't go too crazy. But there are four missions. <coughs> Excuse me. I drink water, and then the water decided it wanted to murder me. But we shall do this mission, and then we will head m around the corners of the universe to continue the diddly D. So we can get all of the synchronization towers for this area. Hello, soldier. Ah, there you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow Bagnone. and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. And My what are friend. they? Infiltrate the abbey and kill Stefano da Bagnone. He said use these to cause a distraction. smoke bombs and it uh, hasn't given me any just like the poison do I have them we'll have to wait for the yes I know do I have them now what where's my bombs where are my bombs take these use this you can use it to make a distraction and uh, they freaking say Because those are evil. Before he takes refuge inside the abbey, I can't really do anything! Because, like, here, take this! And then they don't fucking give me the bombs! Asshole game. I don't understand this aspect, because... Uh, uh, yeah, th that kind of just pisses me off. Take these. We're not actually going to give you any. Let us pray, brother. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. Still don't have them. Game, why did you do that? Why? Why? Why is it take these? You can make a distraction. 180s, fuck you, you don't get them. Game, you are poorly designed as a remake, because I don't remember this happening in the original. Completely lost his mind. How can you speak as such? You wear his vestments only because they afforded me the opportunity to get close to the Medici. But you're right. I should look into replacing after Assassin is dealt with. Huh? Oh, that unholy deal. At least on this we agree. They say the devil has gifted us with a natural spirit and strength. Luckily, he'll go and say. And he will die. Through poison. Do a wacky dance, old man. Would really like those smoke bombs, game. The game is very rude. 
Because it didn't give me no, my smoke bombs. <laughs> right. Where is Jacopo? I wanted my Not smoke bombs, but the fear. game didn't I give them to me. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. That's just annoying. Don't, like, literally, if you're not gonna give them to me, cut the dialogue. Here's a smoke bomb. Hey, guess what, asshole game? You didn't fucking give me any! Fuck off with that tooltip! That honestly pisses me off. Like, genuinely, fuck off, game. We're gonna explicitly give it to you, but then psych, we're not actually going to give it to you. And again, I don't remember that being a deal in the original. I swear. That is the dumbest thing in the world. And I hate it. Oh yeah, we're gonna tell you that we give it to you, and then we're not gonna give it to you. Whoever made that uh, programming quirk needs to be fired, legitimately. That is inexcusable. Beyond anything. Because it shows up in the freaking thing. Oh yeah, you, you gave it to me, but then you didn't. Fuck off, game. Assholes. Pure, complete assholery. And I genuinely mean it. That is inexcusable. You do not do things like it, it kind of happened with the poison pouch. And again, Leonardo's like, oh, yes, I will give a little bit to you as a starter. But then it eventually magically appeared. It's just inexcusable that the game says that, makes a mission kind of based around using it as a tutorial, and then just doesn't give it to you. No, fuck off. That is. Not at all excusable. Just completely and utterly terrible. Do not pass go. Do not pa get you two hundred dollars. Lose your career, e eternity, eternity in homelessness jail. Just utterly, completely inexcusable, evil. Devilry. Be gone, be cast into the void, may Dormammu never accept your deal. Be gone. May happiness never find you, but may despair find you plenty. Because that pisses me off to that degree. If the game says, we're gonna give you a thing, and then through some programming fuck up. Because again, I do not remember that being a problem in the original. Maybe it was, and I just didn't care to bother with it during that mission. But it's <laughs> when it is this, a full-on remaster collection game. And I do not remember it screwing up like that previously. And even if it was a screw up previously, they should have fixed it. It should not be an issue here. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. I demand restitution. I demand all the restitutions. All for me, none for you. For obviously I am the only one who is wronged here. And I still don't have any. They freaking stole from me. I have been stealed. Stolen away. I have been stolen from by my own allies. Over here, it's you. Oh, well, what? Are you going to give me a thing but not give me a thing? Are you going to be a cheapskate too? We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Open the gates. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I 
like it. With the help of Mario's mercenaries, subdue the Villa Guards and kill Francesco. I, I literally do have a small army. That was an odd flood spurt. Hug tech. No, my hug tech. Actually, uh, I wanted to hug tech him to death. Horse. Thank you, horse. You got in the way. Ah, here's the way in. I'm with you. I'm with you. Men, prepare yourselves. The assassin has arrived. Need to find a way to open the gates. Yes, I was heading towards there. I warned you to stay. <laughs> You're finished, assassins. Are we singing the same song? You think a few mercenary will scare me? <laughs> Once again, really wish uh, the I had uh, my diddly d. Game is just being very stupid right now. Game, please. Turn back now and I'll function. My men. Sorry, friend. You are on my list. Your fate is sealed. Tear him limb from limb. Let us paint the walls with his blood. There's no way to treat the guest. What is this? Guards! Me! It says, find a way to open the gates. But by the way, we're not going to let you actually open the gates. Maybe they expected me to use smoke bombs, which the game explicitly refused to give to me. Because it's an asshole. Game, I am explicitly doing shit. Or is your, did you not teach me how to fight these assholes? I think the game didn't teach me how to fight these assholes. Fuck you, game. Yeah, I think it's just the game didn't teach me how to actually fight these assholes. Because game is asshole. Find them. Fight? Assholes. I'm not gonna let the game off. <laughs> it's your step, 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 indeed, Where loading personality. Yama? Although the game did he steal my my the smoke bombs, so I'm a little angry. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. I want my smoke bombs, but the game didn't give them to me. In the tutorial, hey, you can use smoke bombs mission. Because the game's an asshole. Might as well get some throwing knives, though. All the throwing knives shall be mine. Ah, smoke bombs from the dead. So the dead, my enemies are willing to give me smoke bombs, but not the actual game. That said, here, we're gonna give you smoke bombs, but then it didn't. Because the game's an asshole. But now we're going to finish off the various diddly d oh. Little synchronization towers. And then head into the city proper and maybe get rid of that notoriety at all. If at all possible.
because I thought the game would be nice and actually give me the smoke bombs, because I did run into an amusing little thing earlier where Leonardo made the poison stabby stab so I could poison people with my knife, but for whatever reason the game didn't give me the, like, poison to start off with that Leonardo explicitly said that he was giving me. But then a little bit later, it did spawn in, so I thought, oh, maybe it'll just take a bit. Nope. The only time that I got smoke bombs was after I killed, like, two assassination targets and, like, oh, I can just ruffle through the pockets of dead men. And they had more smoke bombs than the game had for me. And I don't know if it, like, is a programming quirk. If it's something that was actually in the original Assassin's Creed 2, I don't remember it, but my memory just could be terrible. It's just very frustrating that the game is like, here's free smoke bombs, and we're gonna give you a tooltip to use your smoke bombs, but then we didn't give you smoke bombs. Literally the only saving grace that staves off my pure fury at the game is that it wasn't a you have to use the smoke bombs for this mission mission. Because then I would just be soft locked. Like, I do not know. It gave me the smoke bomb pouch. Like, I guess that's better than nothing. At least the game wasn't so broken that it didn't give me the actual thing of permanence. But I just, I do not know. I do not know why. I wanted the smoke bombs to do fancy plays. And the game said no. We live in a capitalistic Assassin's Creed 2. You have to buy them or scavenge them as a thief. Good God. What if... <laughs> Oop. Really? Really, game? Really? And maybe I didn't go enough to the right or something. You gotta grind for the items, it seems. Did you check the merchants? Because I don't remember... It was mostly because I'm doing the outskirts areas, and there aren't merchants out here. There are merchants in there, but I don't even know which merchant has what. This bothers me. I assume that it's not a big deal, but it's just like there's no other synchronization tower, and it's just encroaching on my map. That's very mean game. Very mean. Well, either way, we're going to head on in and do the various side things in the tomb. See what we can buy, assassination mission. And see if we can get rid of the notoriety. Let's go beat up some dudes in town. Probably shouldn't have left my horse behind. Because I don't think my horse is following me. I abandoned my horse and it abandoned me. Because I just didn't have enough... Enough bloody smoke bombs for it. You don't know why, but your horse is paid in smoke bombs. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I don't know how I survived that either. Must be all that armor. You know, for swords and blades and arrows. Ah, he noticed. Ah, there's a politician I can murder. Hello, politician. Die. Now we just need to tear off my face from a wall and all should be good. Don't know how that affects immediate notoriety, but hey, people have short-term memory. What indeed. Goodbye. Is it up? Why would the why would you put a Nobody's gonna see this up here. Like, even the people with windows would have trouble seeing this. Who would even do it? Did an archer just stand on the battlements shooting my face into the universe? Sure, whatever game. I am now incognito. Through the power of murder. And diddly dee. Well, 
do the side events because why not? They're quick and easy and give money. Here's a painter. I'll let, what paintings do you have? Any treasure map? I already have all the treasure maps. You have very expensive art. Good for you. I'll have to save up my villa earnings and just buy all the paintings. There's a pickpocket over there. I don't really care. Really. Because it wasn't right in front of me. Hello, woman. Where's your unfaithful husband? Spear of infidelity. Beat up the double-crossing husband. Time for violence. Set to violins. I doubt there's anything like any new armor. That would be hilarious. Villa Auditore makes much better armor than you. How dare you be here in Tuscany selling armor. Don't belong down below with the wobble. He's gonna be out in the countryside, isn't he? Or maybe he'll be down in the well. That would be an impressive dedication to his cheating. Apparently he's around here. Where? Game? Oh, he's... I saw him through the wall. Oh, they see him through the wall. I don't think I have a... Oh, he's on the bal battlements. Because he's a guard. But I need to make sure not to kill him. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Considering that he was a... There we go. You had a spear. A halberd. And I beat you with my hands. Once again, it, increasing my what the hellishness with some of the design specifics of this game. Because <laughs> I noted last time I played, when I was doing an assassination contract, that the guards with like, ooh, they're designed to fight and stuff. Oh, I can't even go down there. It's an actual well. But I was doing an assassination contract, and it was uh, just against a normal rich man. But I couldn't kill him with throwing knives. And I found that very disappointing. It's just like the game, oh yeah! Everything else is like totally fine. The big guards, they can go down in one hit with throwing knives. But a, a, a man right in royal robes, oh no, immune. Absolutely immune. Wedding bells are ringing. Deliver the letter to the chapel on the other side of town before the wedding ceremony begins. Get out of the way, people. I own these streets. Might as well read this. It doesn't take time. We read it in a moment. Dear Vicen Vincente, I have received evidence to prove our worst suspicions. Your daughter is marrying an imposter. Although Leon claims to be Guolfe, he is in fact Florentine. This is further proof of those lies and cheats are trying to invade our government and further take away what little independence we have. If upon reading this your blood is boiling as much as mine, I say we drop him off the Torre Grossa. That will send a message to Florence. Yours, Romando. P.S. Once you have disposed of this annoyance, my son is eligible age, as you know. So he's probably lying. And just like, I want my son to marry that lady. And the guy probably isn't even remotely Florentine. Out of the way, Gardos. I'm an assassin. Why are you serenading me? Well, at least I know I'll live this. <laughs> Street performers? You are very rude. Uh. 
Game, just drop all the way. Toxic. Now he is the bloody street performer. I can jump into the hay. Don't forget. Because I'm being chased by jerks. I've just probably sent an innocent man to his death through the machinations of a madman. And now there's a second courier assignment. Which kind of works for me. Though I could do an assassination since it's the box is right there. So the assassination box. Although considering that this is a memory that's being synced, Ezio did deliver that letter. Few points use. Reveal useful stuff. I can't. There aren't any. I did them all in Tuscany. Why are you showing it? Reap what you sow. I've tracked one of Pazzi's benefactors to a farm due east of San Guangamano. Kill him and we'll all be safer. Does mean that I have to leave the city. But there's a treasure chest here, so I shall grab that. Once again, still find it hilarious that I'm just at the beck and call of a rich guy who says, kill that man. And I just completely tr trust the Medici. Just run towards the yellow marker. We'll get there eventually. We can murder them all. Because he has his back to me. Come on, you can grab that, you asshole game. You could totally grab that, Ezio. You're just a coward. Let the guards pass. I just want to get out of eagle mode. We've already done this. And nobody sees a thing. But you didn't see anything. I was a ghost. And you do not exist. Once again, it says viewpoints this, viewpoints that. Viewpoints do not exist. This is Tuscany. Merda, he's getting away. That worked. If I go around a corner, What's he up? are you in? Goodbye. Join me in the in the leaves, because they actually search in this one. I forgot. <laughs> Which is a neat feature, and kind of, that's eh, that's something I didn't consciously, like, recognize. That the, you have the two-zone thing, where, like, you can get out of their immediate eyesight, and then they'll go into search mode. But if you stay within the ring of searching, of course they're going to search for you. It's just coming from Assassin's Creed 1 to this is an interesting thing to note. I just need to find a way back into the giddly damn city. That needs more wall climbing. So you don't have to look for an actual entrance. But I think an entrance is over here. Are these people just having a little get together? Walking around the city. Now here's probably an entrance. I doubt they'd have all this much stuff hanging around a wall. Out of the way. I have a courier assignment to do. Because it's a side thing, and side things shall be sided. 
get this delivered on time and I'll repay you handsomely. And what's this one? Speedy delivery. Quickly deliver these three letters. I wanted to, I wanted the map, but this will do. So it's basically uh, blah blah blah. blah. Fine, I'll, I wanted to look at the map so I could plan a route, but then the game said no. You get to, maybe just perhaps the map button shouldn't also be the hey random thing that you might not care about button. But now that we are, oh, this one's probably the furthest away. Ah, oh, they're all in the countryside. I forget that this is a jerk game. You'll not find better prices than these, I, mean. I think I will. I literally Villa Auditore has better prices. Now I can get on the horse and properly deliver them. To the countryside! Here is your letter. And I have to deliver so many other letters. Why would the horse go into a wall? Yes, 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 I know, but the game was like, we're going to start you in the city. So you have to then get out of the city. And then you need to get a horse. And also, we're going to give you a bunch of irrelevant letters that are going to hog the, ma the, the map button. Because you know that's always fun. Screwing with your ability to even look at the map. Let's see. To head to the left to probably deliver this one. I think I'll actually run out of time because the game was a jerk. Personally, this career mission sort of started outside of the walls. Here you go. And even though I'll deliver two of the letters on time, he's like, oh, you missed that last one by a few seconds. And again, who knows how long it is in real memory time and not animus memory time. And you just had to spawn in, didn't you? Molte grazie. At least now we have a horse to get back in. To speed things up a bit. That seems to be the last of the courier assignments. Then off to assassination targets. We'll just get rid of those money bins to... Will you stop telling me to use the viewpoints? I've already done it, game. What is with the tooltips in this game? It feels like they are broken. Damn. On him. Damn. On him. It's not my fault that you are terrible fighters. Indeed, I am fast. I'm by the tree. You don't know where I am. Fine, you all die. Fight me, jerks. We're just gonna stare at you. Boringly. Fight me already. Fight me. Jerks. Bloody well, fight me, please. I'll steal all your money. Your poor, poor money. But you don't have any life money. And apparently, if you kill people just outside the walls of Tuscany, they do not care. It does not add to your infamy. Interesting. Here's one money box. At least get that off the map. Well, then where's the other one? 
get to that treasure. Apparently it's up. Need to find it. I don't. You have a bow and arrow. You're not even a real man. Get down or I shoot. Too bad I can actually throw. I, just, I don't know where the treasure is. Is it down below? Is it up here? It doesn't seem to be up here. I hate this building for climbing. Ah, now we can go this way. We have to make the climbing dynamic. You mean obnoxiously boring? Yes. Going around in circles is not a gripping gameplay. It's not even really puzzle making. It's just being mildly boring. At least the climbing overall is better than Assassin's Creed 1. Speeds up is nicer overall. But it's just kind of silly that the game is like, yeah, you know what? We're gonna make it kind of silly. Now, on to the assassinine. Now that all the maps that I have brought upon my own suffering are no longer in the way of covering it. Is it in the countryside again? Four of the guards in San Guamano are plotting to have me murdered. I need them to disappear. It should not appear that you were involved, but the crowd is starting to recognize your kills. Ideally eliminate them without using weapons. So, with poison? I can do poison. Are they in town or in the countryside? They're all in town! It's a miracle! I mean, I could send the them after them. I do find it funny, like, they're starting to recognize your kills. Even though I've predominantly been using poison, so they shouldn't even know. And through the assassinating, I should be able to afford a few diddly-dee. I'm away, I'm away, Mr. Big Shot Man. So he's on top of this here building. Is he really on top of this building? Oh boy, it's my favorite, the big roundy roundy roundy. Why do they have to make buildings obnoxious to climb? Just make them buildings. Oh, we have to make them annoying and time wasty so that everyone knows. Very rude for him of him to turn around like that. Acknowledge my existence, why don't he? And at least they give you the... Grab. Oh, there's... Oh, no, this is an assassin tomb, not a... Not a glyph. I wonder what it would look like if you hadn't gotten the glyph before this. Point to poison. Once again, big on the building. We just have to make climbing buildings a tedium. Then you have to go around a corner, and then you need to go around another corner. And then even though you want to go up, you have to go around yet 
another corner. Corners upon corners. Climb, Ezio. We do not have time to admire. This is a very long hike up this mountain of a building. Such is the way. Hopefully he doesn't see me coming, though the archers do seem to have a sixth sense. I'm just going to throw him off the building. Off the building with you. At least that led me to a feather. That's empty. Good, good. Whenever I see guards guarding a thing, I need to make sure. Why are all of them archers except for one guy? And again, the archers are so hard to get near because of their sixth sense. Like they know. I don't even think it's possible to properly come up on behind them. Come on, forget about me, I, asshole game. I don't want to know. But How to hurt himself, kill himself. Eternally angry. I do find it a bit obnoxious of how long it takes them to forget you. He's poisoned and he still knows I exist. He's poisoned and I'm in a crowd and he still knows that I exist. He is the ultimate guard. Nothing will keep him down except for death, which hopefully he'll kill over soon. One downside to the poison, it's very slow acting. Well, I mean, quick acting in terms of, like, real-life death, murder, poison. But when it comes to video game poison, quite slow. Game! Where can I turn off the tooltips? I don't want them. Can I get rid of tooltips? Don't know what SSI is. Everything else. Health meter, controls, updates. And then SSI. What is SSI? Get away from here. Get away from here. How about you get away from me? How about that? And we won't do the race because, I don't know, just... Race doesn't interest me. It's just... A, like a bunch of other things that you already do. Where do, do, do. I think we'll get this one because it's the most expensive. And then we just don't have enough money for that other classical painting. But maybe through assassinations we will be able to earn more fancy paintings. Ezio, what do you do with all the money I give you for killing people who are a threat to our society? I buy novelty pictures that I hang up in my villa. Such is the majesty of the world. Supply and demand. A local guild leader supplying the Patsu of arms lives in Sanguam Gimiguano. I, I'm terrible at naming that name. Tell one of his men to find him, then kill him. <laughs> Technically, I'm not up there anymore by the time you finish that sentence, so you aren't you the fool. Very rude of him to be walking directly towards me. Maintain distance. Ah, uh, what is he gonna do? Stop and turn around looking for people who are tailing him? Pfft. Only idiots do that. Especially with how many corners these guys like to cut. 
like go across the corner. And it's like, ah, 25. 25 seconds is all you can spare. But I wrote it for you. But I wrote it for you. And then you got in my way. Maintain distance. But I need to be right behind him. So I can know where he's going before he knows. So I can absorb the energy and the information from inside his brain. Considering where the series goes, I wouldn't be surprised. If that is, indeed, a power and ability. Shame on you. It's not my fault that the man that is the bards... It's always three of them. Are trying to be like, ah, here's a serenade for you. And then they just make it so I can't do the good deeds that they make songs about. Also, how, m what is the direct ratio of bards to normal people? in this world. It seems to be like five to one. With obviously the five being the bards. I'm sorry, I'm currently tailing a guy and he would know the tink twinkle twinkle of money upon the ground and that would get his attention. Maintain distance from the target. But I need to eat his brain. Guard, you are an asshole. Guard, you are a double asshole. We're on patrol, and obviously we need to patrol this wall. Immediately this wall. We can't patrol this wall five centimeters from the wall. Why, everything is terrible. I have no idea what you said, random man in the market. Listen well. I also have overstock from my brother's port at very attractive price. So you're saying is that you sell cheap things because your brother couldn't sell them. Which then begs question of the quality. That guy What? There we go. Mm. Kill the guild leader. Time for an air assassination. And then we can smoke bomb away. Because now we know. No. Now we know. Air assassination! Except. Smoke bomb! I am truly a ninja. He'll never find me, sitting five feet away. And now he's just jumping mad, going crazy. Well, he's very far away. He went the wrong way. I think, let's see, is that the last... Wait, but we weren't paid. No, I think we were paid and we just needed to get away. Aha, I am partially dumb. Let's do the assassin tomb since it's right here. Out of the way, guard man. I'm sure I'll kill you someday, but that is not today. I'm not a complete fiend. Let's see how many times this assassin's tomb steals away camera control. My most favorite thing. Because seriously, I don't understand why. A little bit of leading, but don't lock off the control. I understand an immediate, here, you can look and see, this is the information we want to convey to you. And then after that five seconds, you give control back. So that I might fail upon my own merits and look at the rats swim away. They are my brain cells wanting to leave. 
infiltrate Torre Grossa and find the assassin seal hidden within. We need to get up there. How do we get up there? Warning, you are now notorious. Oh. When it comes to the edges of walls, my brain never, like, correlates that, oh yes, I can use them to climb, because a lot of the time they don't let you. Or at least in Assassin's Creed 1. My brain looks for more obvious. Diddly D. Ah, a Skyrim, like, storage room. At least it isn't timed. Game is rude. Game is very rude. Game is very rude there. Into the water you go. Why would he see me? Just coming out here and he'd be right there? That is a terrible spawn point. Have him facing backwards, at least. How can I be assassinating if the guards are competent? <laughs> Why can they see so good? It's not like there's a dedicated hide button in this game. Very rude. I'll pick your pockets. And I'll kill that guy too, because he, he'll be just as annoying. <laughs> he'll just go, I'm going to randomly look up now. How dare you exist. Say what you will about the guards must be crazy, not noticing players in video games, but when they're competent, it's just annoying. Especially when you come out and just want to get a move on, and they're like, no, you cannot get a move on because I exist and I have eyes. Very special eyes. I kind of dislike that it swivel cameras, control away, like I understand ever so slightly. You are trying to convey information, but at the same time, uh, the controls directly correlate to uh, where the camera is. <laughs> So, when you mess with the camera, you mess with the controls, and that hurts me so. Oh, so it hurts me so. Is there a guard in here? It says so on the minimap. He's upstairs, I guess. Which I'll need to go to, to properly get around. And he'll be mean, and he'll be like, I have eyes too. You killed my eye, brothers. So now you must die. Grab the pole. Grab the pole. Why will you not grab the pole? It is right there, the pole. You could have grabbed it from a barrel. Grabbing it from the barrel should be your favorite thing. How dare you do your job, guardman. Doing your job should be your least favorite thing. Is that just an alcove? In a wall? On the sec- I need to check that out. Or could I have come from there? What? What is your secret? I, I need to know. Secret located? What? G Game! Stop! <laughs> Stop taking control of the goddamn camera away! <laughs> I understand that you're again trying to convey information, but dear God, it is terrible. Once again. Take away control of camera for five seconds to convey information, then give back. Please. It almost happened again. Almost killed my soul. Activate handle thingy. I jumped across that. Oh no. It's the Harry Potter library level.
with lots of guards and hay. I have that painting already. There was a painting on the second floor I already own. I hate the guards in this. They're too clever. They're way too clever and I hate it. It's supposed to be a stealth section. So let stealth reign. At least I got that one. Your buddy is dead. Be gone. Come over here. Be gone into wall. And now die. This is a stealth game. The guards are supposed to be stupid to enhance the power fantasy. I can't believe the designers completely failed stealth gameplay 101. I have to come up here because they stole my goddamn paintings. I know that some of my paintings are up here. Don't know about that one. But one way over here. The one on the left. That's in my villa already. They stole it. Yoink. I kill you now on principle. Because you guards are evil. Because you notice me. You make me look incompetent. Dumb dog! You make me look bad! Aha. Uh -huh. Need to go to the... Shandala! Which would have put me in contention with the guards anyway. So I was correct in the end. Remember, kids, murder is the uh, correct answer. He's coming right for you. Because you are a jerk and probably will Because <laughs> these guys are very mean with their memory. If you are, if they're directly in your path, they will remember you forever. But if you want them to remember you and come towards you, they won't. Crime indeed. Crime criminy more than anything. Ah, oh, that's just a, a treasure chest. Do I care about the treasure chest enough to go grab it? How much of a bother would it be? Depends if I fall. Let's try crime. Seems to be quite the bother. Let's see. Ah, there we go. More into the middle. Come on, you can grab the upper thing. You can always grab the upper thing. I know the game is like, oh no, you're supposed to do it from the rafters. But this would also work if it let me do it. But the game says no. Freedom, no. Hilarious, considering this is Assassin's Creed and the Assassins are all about freedom. Like, good freedom. Let's go get that secret treasure. Why not? Secret area located. It's a minor navigation puzzle, it seems. Game, you are being very rude. Nobody would want to do that maneuver. But you weren't five hours away that way. If you are in reasonable distance, that just means you want to be crazy. It'll only be like 300-ish florins, but still. At least it leads all the way back. And then I can fly into a wall and not break my knees. Big tower time. Tower time? I think it's tower time. I'm just gonna have that ready. I mean, I could probably try to climb up. Oh, wait, no, I no, I have to climb up. I, it, would, it would be amusing if the game was like, you can either climb or just walk up the stairs and face the guards. I was just going to face the guards. Game did it again. Steals my, my stuff. Steals my soul. For once, the archer was dumb. Usually the archers are very aware to a supernatural degree that I hate. Also, it didn't help that the camera wanted to go swivel vision again. 
We want to show you where we think you should go. Game, I I can just look around and see with my own eyes. Game, please. He's gonna, probably going to look down and see me. Please don't look down and throw rocks. I'll just kill them. Because the game's going to be like, no, go through the thing. Because the game ha locked my camera there. It probably wanted me to jump to that and then there and like, oh, you can sneak about. No, game. I don't trust you. <laughs> I do not trust you, game. You whom hurt me very bad. You whom hurt me very, very bad. I don't know where it wants me to go. Probably further up. Like this. It wants me to go up somewhere. See? <laughs> now would be a time to, like, give me hints on where to go. Not the obvious, where I can look around. Where there are guards looking for head. Mine, to be specific, so they can cut off and murder me. The game really likes making swivel cam. We take away control. Specifically to show you where we want you to go. That you could easily divine yourself. By the way, there are also guards that want your, your soul as well. It did it again. Please stop. <laughs> really, that just confused me even more. Probably just wanted this. Again, stop taking control of the camera. It just hurts more. All it does is cause more pain. It's like giving out cocaine as a cure-all in the 50s. It just causes more agony. But hey, it does come with the uh, consolation that I'm stealing from Tuscany. That just makes it all the sweeter. And now... Time to take back from this British Museum. This belongs to my family. It's a dagger plate. It'll be my favorite dinner plate ever. Memory synced, Assassin Seal. I can see your house from here. Or at least, I can see your house fro. No idea what a fro is, but surely it knows. Seekers can blend, render blending useless by searching hiding spots. So, seekers actively seek even when not seeking? Because I know I saw non-seekers looking for me when I was hiding in the search area, radius of a recently escaped chase. And once again, the answer becomes, why did I just infiltrate from the top the first time? Maybe it was just hard to climb up here? It is just a door. I'm going to wait for that to go away so I can access my map. Go away. I want my map. Understood angry thing of God and devil and God devils. Now it's telling me to get money. Money, 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 money. All right. I'll probably head... We could do an actual mission mission because they're also pretty quick and it's right there. Let's just do it. It's right there. And then we'll wait and uh, do the assassination missions. Purely just get them out of the way. Because why not? Get those cleaned up. Get paid. What's your job? Assassin. I kill people for money. Ah, so you're like a typical capitalist. Salute, Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for This is the one downside to Assassin's Creed as opposed to Assassin's Creed 1. In Assassin's Creed 1, there's a lot of build-up to your targets. 
Whereas with the Assassin's Creed 2, it just kind of feels like instant surprise, now they're here. Whereas in Assassin's Creed 1, you actually like got to feel their presence as characters. Especially with the investigation missions. I kind of wish they could have fused Assassin's Creed 1's like investigation missions a bit more into things. You get down. I hate the delay on throwing knives. People of this place, I'm a madman. I'm insane. How would I do game? We're going to uh, lock onto a thing that even you can't see. That's a bold decision. So basically, this was Twitter back in uh, Italian Renaissance day days. You can jump over to that one, yeah? Climb up. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is darkness, even though you are the darkness. He is the darkness that must be risen up against. Well, wrong. I'm going the wrong way, because I'm dumb. To be fair, I kind of thought it was the. Oh, actually, is it? Nope. I was right. I already did that glyph, but extra nice that you kind of just come across it during a main mission. He's just going on and on, ain't he? At least I got a feather. Game, please. And did he stop because he saw me killing or what? Dear God, he has a lot of guards. I wonder what those guards are thinking. God, this is so boring, but it pays the bills. Are you going to move from your center position, my dude? At least, yeah. Darn it. Darn thee, Mr. Backman, who has a 90 degree vision and longs for me to suffer. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. How dare you turn around, Satan. So many guards. I mean, considering that I'm coming for him, He's not entirely wrong to have this many guards. But still, I don't think those guards on the furthest tower matter much. I hope that the contextual correction doesn't kill me. Yay, it did not kill me. Happy day indeed. I always have to worry about the contextual, we're going to decide where you fly, moments. Because, oh, do they happen. And, oh, do they suffer me pain. We can climb up here and come murder all of you. You really should see the dead bodies from up here. That's all you have to say about the guy that came up here. The dead body is right in clear view, my dude.
Nice music, though. It's very subtle. Again, he just does not care about the dead body. What? Oh. I was wondering where you went, dear friend. Goodbye, friend. I just looked up there and the tower was empty and I'm just like, what? Away with you, demon. You're the demon. Some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. E tu possa al fine trovare riposo. Corpo e nella mente. Requiesca che pace. Ezio has much better control than Altair. Because Altair would have, like, stabbed that guy. Ooh, letter time. Maestro, May oh, he's going to talk for me. It's with in my heart that I write this letter. The prophet has arrived. I feel it. The birds don't act as they should. They swirl around the location. I see them from my tower. I will not attend our meeting as asked. For I am only I listening to my voice. Or the demon might find me. Poor guy. I shall now loot your body. I wonder... Oh, I think I see a secondary feature of having the little walk around. It means that you can't throw him to his death. Which would be funny. Well, I guess you could if you lured him off and then threw him off. Would be amusing. Especially with the... Uh, Post diddly D the confession session. Another kind of sadness is that the confessions aren't like a uh, as like a uh, the confessions aren't as. Come on, you're in combat, but you can assassinate him from there. Is that the confessions in Assassin's Creed 1 are more personal, more grand. These ones are very basic. They basically just give out a bit of information and die. Or no information and die. And that's why we had to get the letter off him. San Guamano has long been filled with enemies of the Medici and conspirators. They are plotting against Florence. They're located in the marketplace next to Santa Maria Assunta. To the marketplace, locate two conspirators, and then eat their ass. Uh, uh, it's Tree Man! Tree Man! The Lord of the Trees, it's Tree Man. He's not an int, Tree Man. He will murder your family, Tree Man. And that should be all the paintings of this place. I think that might just leave Venice? Because the only places that I remember are Florence and uh, Venice. I do not remember Tuscany all that well. Because I am a fool. Obviously, it's going to be in the forbidden section. Right. Come with me. We're going to have to fight. Hmm. Or maybe I... Is there a good way in? Doesn't seem like there's a good way in. Or is this the way in? Fight them. Be on your guard, citizens. A notorious criminal's presence is suspected in our parish. Leave the done. Hmm. And I doubt I'll be able to do the thing of hmm, maybe I subtly get involved.
That's not what I wanted at all. But I'll help my... Uh, but they probably are done for the day, because I sent them to fight. So I won't be able to reuse them. So yeah. Oh, no, I get to have them again. Kill him. Uh, is he running away? Very interesting. Last time we were in this kind of area, the game just... Very odd. Normally... Eh, I should have expected this, probably. Game... Kindly stop. I wish that the blades were a bit more accurate as they were in Assassin's Creed 1. But oh well. I wanted to be sneaky and then <laughs> the royal people were like, I have learned to climb a wall! You'd think sending a bunch of thugs in to murder somebody would work. Lorenzo Medici, your brother should have just climbed up a wall when they came for him. Out in front of the church. What in heaven? That just... That bothers me for some reason. I'm going the wrong way, because the game has my brain bleeding. Come here, boy! Come here, boy! Why did you create an invisible wall, loot man? I want no part of you. Your part is dead. Go home. What's this all about? But yeah, I just think that it would have been more interesting if I could just send in my mercenaries to cause a distraction and in the chaos the guards don't notice me. I slip in and I kill them. But no, the politicians learned to climb and parkour. That just feels kind of, I don't know, kind of buzzkill. Is that another, is that another courier? It is another courier. Hey, courier man. I want your money. Damn loot man, stop me from getting my money. Give me your money. And hilarious, the archer decides to kill him instead of me. Hilarious. The AI in this game amuses me, even if it does cheat me of my tactics. The guards saw me do that, and they did not care. They were like, ah, he's on a roof. But it's ground level roof. Ah, it's a roof. Don't bother. Vertical slice. Borgia soldiers have been spotted in San Guamano. They may be attempting a coup. Kill them all, but make sure you aren't seen. I don't want Rodrigo to use your involvement as an excuse to go to war. I think I'll need more poison. Where's a nearby doctor so I can poison them? That better not be the only doctor along the way. Eh, it kind of is. Or I could go there, loop around. And there are only five targets. I'm sorry. I go. I Out of the way. We'll go. Top up our poison. Maybe even drop by a t tailor. Where, where is a tailor? We passed by a tailor. Wow. We'll hit the tailor, then the doctor, 
because I don't really mind paying uh, some money, because I don't know if there's, like, a poison pouch. There probably isn't. Poison is quite powerful. Poison is quite powerful, so I doubt there will be a... upgrade to that. Bonus skin. Interesting. I wonder why it's called that. Nope, just large medicine pouch, medium medicine pouch. Then I'll just buy all those next time we head to the villa. All right, my dear. How was I detected? I was barely in front of them, game. How was I detected? Viewpoint. Eagles indicate the presence of a viewpoint. What the fuck? I think the game cheated me. I think the game cheated me but hard. What the fuck? That is exceedingly dumb. I literally wasn't caught. There was no indication. They even saw me. Game? Did one of them have a frickin' spidey sense? Hmm, I sense someone going to buy poison to kill us. I do ha I do not understand you, game. I do not understand you, game. You have failed. You are a failure game. You are meant to indicate things, and you did not. You have failed, game. You are a failure. Utterly and completely. Oh. Are they on the roof? How would they even see me on the roof? That was close. But yeah, that is stupid. <laughs> there was no indication that anyone saw me. Let alone from such a distance. And then the game just went, oh yeah, they totally saw you. I don't... I do not understand it at all. I don't know why the game did that. Game. Is this going? Is this game going to have more quirks and oddities than Assassin's Creed One did in comparison? Game. You better not look down. I'd be very annoyed if you saw me. You see nothing? Goodbye. Don't have any of those. We need to play this very... Lol. I don't think I've ever seen that before. The backwards leap of faith. You have to be careful. Because the game could just decide a stupid thing. Don't see anything stupid. And now I should be able to poison them, hopefully. Without having a worry in the world. Unless I get close to him and he's like, Oi, I know you! Like the guard did of that one assassination target that I had. 
of which there was no indication that he would ever do something like that. I did not want to talk to you. I wanted to use my eco vision. And poison just because I am very paranoid. And now we wait. I basically have the notoriety of a pickpocket. Yet here is the herald saying, You must all be a very scared. Run away. Hide in your homes. Bleg. And with the final convulsion of the ragdoll, I am the Winrar. Bring me your sick and wounded. I will take some poisons for murdering. Preston, you should be well recovered, friend. I didn't even get recovered. I just bought so much, like, healing that it can murder. Imagine if the medic... We should probably return to the villa to at least extract some... The diddly dee. Where's the fast travel station? I guess there's one there. Take me to the fast travel station. Which is this away? We'll go to the villa, pick up the coin from the chest, buy some upgrades at the tailor at the villa, come back, finish off the various diddly dees, potentialies. Depends on how many more assassination side missions there are. Because there seems to be a lot of them. And the sad thing is, they aren't that different from the main assassination missions. Out of the way, people. A real crazy man's coming through. Fast, tr fast travel wagon station. Take me to the villa. Just four florins. Why is that so cheap? Why is it so cheap to take me to a fully upgraded villa? Why do you consider it so cheap? Or is it because you like it so much that you give a disc discount for coming here? But the main reason we have to come by to grab the money from the chest is because Claudia steals the money off the top if we don't take it in time. And then with the money, we'll buy upgrades and maybe the remaining weapons from the blacksmith just so that we can have them in the armory, which increases the villa worth even more and then increases how much money we get from the chest. You know, I don't really recall utilizing that all that much for whatever reason. I don't remember coming back to the villa and getting a th the bushel of money for whatever reason. I wonder if I just barreled down the main story and did nothing else. Well, we'll get the medium pouch, we'll get the large pouch, and knife belt upgrade. Well, thank you. Till next time, sir. Too bad your work doesn't increase the value of the villa. No new there. But yes, old stuff here. No new. I'll go ahead and buy knives and smoke bombs because I'm here and... Oh, only three smoke bombs. And now we need to head back in so we can get my preferred weapon, my Florentine Falcon. So that gets us an extra 53 florins per visit, it looks like. If my quickie, dirty math is correcty. I want the Florentine Falcon. 
So it seems there will be a few more weapons and a lot more armor in the future. Now we need to head back down to the fast travel station. Actually, we need to drop off the feathers that we got. No reason not to. Increases the... Somehow, dropping off feathers increases the value of the villa somehow. I don't understand it. But I get m four more florins from it. From it. So, hey. Now we'll head back out. And I have lots of money, and I think we're at the point that until we get to Venice and or another place that has different paintings, we're not going to want for money ever. I probably shouldn't have bought all the treasure maps, unless the treasure maps, like, actually do something for me, like show the codexes. But I don't think they do. I think just climbing up and scanning from a synchronization tower gets me the codexes. <laughs> Impressive stuff will get me notoriety. And the guards are like, that man can do a backflip. I want to kill him. Or something along those lines, I assume. We'll do a quick scan of the area. Doesn't Interesting that there's a doctor all the way out there. Kind of nice. But, yep, we'll go in. Do more assassination missions, just so that we can please our sugar daddy Lorenzo Medici. We have to get up to the roof. How did he do that? How did he do that? He, he looked like he did a little misstep and stumbled on the wall. He's so majestic. At least that one makes a little bit more sense, but even then, you'd think they would put it in a place of actual travel and not on, literally on a roof. The placement of the wanted posters make no sense. No camping. Our enemies are trying to band together in camps out in the countryside. Kill their leaders. Without them, the mercenaries will flee. In order to create the greatest chaos possible, try to complete the task quickly. Well, shit. All right. I'll head for that one because it's closer. I need to get on the wall. Or just get through the gate. There is a gate here. Nope. For my brain constantly sees, ah, stuff at wall equals gate for some reason. Because brain is stupid. Swan dive! I don't even have a horse. I wish that I could summon a horse. For the greatest chaos possible. Kill them quickly. The real question is, will these be the kind of guys that I can kill with throwing knives? Or are these the kind of guys that refuse to die from throwing knives? Oh, wow, he's out there. In the middle of it. I need to get on the roof, because, again, I am on a time limit. Brain kind of forgot that for a moment. Why does it take two? Oh, you die already? My dude, die. Why did I fall? Game! Why are you dumb? I don't know why he followed after. Give up, please. Give up, please. Give up, please. Game! Give up! Game's an asshole. They should have given up five million years ago. But the game's like, no, they don't get to give up. 
Makes no sense. I shouldn't have fallen off the roof. They should have given up five million years ago. And again, the knives should kill them so much better than they do, but the game is a jerk about it. I shall commandeer this horse. Half the time is gone because the game's an asshole. And doesn't let you do cool shit. You here. Kill them. That is not a real guard. Imposter. <laughs> That's not a real guard. Imposter. And because they're too busy fighting the guard. Horse, why? Why'd you get on in the way of everyone? So it's only worthwhile hiring mercenaries to attack targeted areas if the target themselves is a guard. Got it. Elsewise, they will parkour away. Even when they are somebody who probably shouldn't parkour. Horse, why? Why even have a gap there? Put a giant rock. A giant middle finger. From above! And the, the, the body flew away! Like a balloon! Like a happy balloon! I failed that. How dare. Fight me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Can't really do you. So we'll just kill these guys. Be gone. Be gone. Somehow that worked. Now I need to do this. Because somehow countering the big guys with the hardest to counter... Well, well hardest to use countering weapon... Works. I don't get it. Like, I kind of get the... Oh, you can't counter them normally because they're big boys with big muscles and big armor. But then it's just kind of funny that the hardest to counter... Normally thing, the bibbidi ba. we'll let him go because he, we get so much more money from the villa, we don't need to steal from the, the little courier boy. Why do you do that and not just run up, it gets better, man. I don't understand the contextual movement, like there it's just nitpicky for me, but it's just annoying when the game is like, I'm going to do what is called a poor movement. And it hurts my soul. Die. You no longer have a heart. If you even had one to begin with, goodbye. Get down, no. Get down, no. My dude, I am down here. You, you can go away now. Leave me very much alone. It's the guard. They don't know I'm on my way to get a contract for murder. Through the power of murder, we will make the world safe. One of the villains who hired the Conditori responsible for attacking Florence has been found. The man goes for a walk every day in the Tuscan countryside, ambush him at the ruins of the Roman theater. So, he decides to go to the Roman theater every night. Interesting. We don't hire thieves in this house. So I need to go there to kill him. You'd think this would be a location used for, like, an actual assassination. 
and back. just want to make sure I Double got all back. the paintings here. Triple check it. But yeah, you'd think that the oh. Roman theater ruin would be a actual assassination place and not a small assassination place. But what do I know? I just have expectations. And I need to find a way over the wall. Into the countryside. To ambush the dude. The spice rack returns to aid in the doom of others. This will probably hurt, but I think I might be able to mitigate it. Nope. Pain. And there's a glyph here! Woohoo! I barely got in your your view, my dude. I think I'm coming in the backwards way. But since these guys are... This is just a normal walkway, my dude. Anybody can come up here. The thieves, however, After you. they can distract these guys. Wait till I get my hands on you. You won't get away. Interesting. Very rude. Get my hands on you. Die. Along with one of your friends. Hug tech. Run away, man. Your employer is dead. Come on, I want to grab you. Because I'm just going to punch your helmeted face a lot otherwise. Punch your helmeted face. Can I grab you now? Game. I want to grab him. Never mind. The clothesline is close enough to a grab. And now we loot the body because he deserves no respect. Why am I the only one who carries... Tens of thousands of florins in my pocket at all times. Why am I so alone in the world? Yeah, I didn't expect him to just be running the... The... The what is it called? The, the perimeter of the theater. He doesn't walk among the theater, just the perimeter. And I just accidentally ran into him while organizing my thief posse. Hello, politician. I thought that was my... not sword. Yes, I am a sexy woman. You don't know what you're talking about. That assassin that killed that politician right before your very eyes? Nowhere to be. I am a sexy woman. Nothing else to see here. Fuck. Another politician must die. Another politician. There's another politician and he must die. Politician man. I'm free. What the hell even? But now that I am no longer notorious because I killed two politicians back to back, let's go do the, I presume, next to final mission in Tuscany? Because we're after Jacopo. And we've been killing his, uh, what is it called? Collaborators? Hey, I, I don't want to kill these guys, distract them. I'll just walk in and hopefully they won't go, You're not supposed to be in there! 
Depends on how long they're distracted. And I mean, I do get my money back, and... I don't, like, risk breaking my armor. I need to use courtesans more if they're available. But the real question is, what would happen if the guards were asexual? And they're like, I don't care about your beautiful body, I have a job to do. I am here to guard this building. I'm not gonna leave my post for a sexy woman. We found Bernardo Baronchen. The Baron! Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. Constantinople. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. Gimignano. See if I can't pin him down. San Gimignano. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? Because I am a I god. My ways. I am an assassin god. Locate and assassinate Bernardo Barancelli. Barancello. Barren musical instrument. Is he just gonna be? From the rooftop. Just need to take things one day at a time. You'll get bored, lost, confused, distracted, killed. He'll be okay. And if he does come, if it happens, I keep moving. Never in one place for long. Give them something to think about. But I'm late. Why did they go after me? He's here. That's rude. They don't know I hired those thieves. Assassin. That's dumb design, game. That is legitimately dumb design. No. Also, none of you could recognize a guy surrounded by a billion guards. Closing off the streetways. I knew you would come. Where is Jacopo? So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church. It just wouldn't that be called. the smart thing to do? To send in the thieves to take away his personal yes, guard so you can stab him? No. No, you don't get to do the fun thing. You don't get to do the fun thing. You have to follow the pre planned tradition. You don't get to do the cool thing. He's very dumb. I hate it. I just think that's very stupid. I just think that it is very stupid. Nom. Why would I be locked onto combat when I'm trying to run away game? You saw nothing. How does he jump into hay? From ground level. You are dumb. But yeah, it's just like... Wouldn't that be cool to hire some... Thieves to lure away the dudes for a cleaner kill. The game says, no, they're going to magically into it that you sent the thieves. Like on some level, maybe. Brother, as you've no doubt He's like, oh no, now, any disturbance, it must be him, but still. We should never have consented, never have conspired. But what's done is done. And so... I have called a meeting with Maestro three nights from now to ask for sanctuary. So Venice or Rome, Either but we don't go Venezio to Rome until the next game. In Roma. We will assemble at the church in San Gimignano and travel to the meeting location at the appointed hour. I urge you to attend. Remaining here would be suicide. The assassin is relentless. We cannot... What? What happened now? I was reading a letter. Why is that illegal? Game, what the fuck? I was reading a letter. They didn't care who I was. I'm not notorious. 
I wasn't in chase! What the fuck? I am annoyed. <laughs> the game just like, I'm gonna do weird shit. Weird shit is now, apparently. What even the hell? <laughs> the game, slowly, is losing its mind. Have some money, good bard. But the game so far has been acting very, 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 very weird. It's been acting very weird. I do not know why it is acting weird. It's just for whatever reason the game decides to go and now to fuck up. <coughs> and now to wait for night. With friends like these, tail Jacopo de Pazzi to the Templar meeting, then assassinate him. I think he's gonna walk all the way to the Roman theater now, because I freaking remember. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. And now we just need to tail him from a very far away. Very, very far away. Sorry, not today, dear loot bearers. I cannot risk gaining the attention of the old man, the old banker. I'm killing Scrooge, I just realized that. Italian Scrooge. Why does this not count as a group to blend in with? What's going on here? Are they late? He's gaining a guard, buddy. This hero's luck will hold me break, and when Don't make me headbutt you. <laughs> he explicitly references me killing the guards whenever I go to kill the evildoers. Accurate indeed. I'm following you. Old man, your name is stupid. Who pronounces Jacopo like that? I don't even know what it's... <laughs> what kind of equivalent name. Like Frederick to Frederico. Jacopo? Jacob? Is your name Jacob? Mr. Jacopo? De Pazzi banker man? Is that where the phrase Patsy comes from? Your family being a bunch of failures. I'm gonna hide behind the spices. He'll never see me. Because I'm too spicy. And then the camera says, Look the other way. What Stay you your eyes. Planning, Stay your eyes from the old man. Your, uh, what is the term? I forget the technical term, but lyrical flow is terrible there, my dude. Maintain distance. Ah, come on. He's Jacopo de Pazzi. He's not going to turn around. That's what smart people do. And he's Jacopo. He went and... Aided in killing my father. He's not gonna. Well, actually, I think he just. I like, uh, I need courtesans. Out of the out of the way. Why do they always put three in the place that I do not like? Buy me a little time. There we go. I just wanted to get access to the courtesans. 
Why is it that everybody else gets to go through the guard barrier, but not me? Is it because I wear white? Your letter mentioned Venezia. Ah, good. Checkpoint. Well. So if I fuck up, I respawn here. That is nice, that this longer tailing mission isn't evil. It's just mildly dumb. Are there even wolves in 15th century Italy? Because there was a wolf sound. I shall walk on the greenery, and those guards probably won't bother me. Not there. They'd bother me over here. Because they're assholes. Oh, th it's because they fold on in to make a parade. Good for them. Fold on in. I need to use these guys because I horribly underutilized such tactics when I played this game years ago. What do you do? What do you do? What dude? Dude, the fuck? Why was he walking towards me? Your magic. Okay, game is being a jerk. How many men are responsible for my father's death? Need to get to a good eavesdropping spot, which is outright in the opening. Just behind a pillar. The perfect hiding spot. I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could. But the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. Else the others would be here with you. Except for the one guy who was scared for his life. Nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You don't want to talk, Signor Barbarigo? Have you sent us <laughs> He's a barber. Instead of this He's going to kill me. We put our faith in your family, and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? You do I deserve insulting. I don't know. It's all right. No, I'm supposed to murder him. Uh, uh, no. Please. D don't. <laughs> Please don't what? Uh, uh, At least they... He kind of gets... Or maybe I will be able to finish him off. Or he's going to crawl to them. <laughs> fix this. <laughs> Spare me. No. And through the neck. Harsh. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. And you didn't hear them coming up the on you. They were in metal. I wouldn't expect you to follow. That I didn't plan for it. We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. You can't kill me. I'm an assassin. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen! Ah! I gave you the chance. <laughs> He's killing his friend. Good for you. And then I killed his friend. They are really big on killing their, their friends. Good for them. I don't know how to... I forgot. 
I don't know even if you can even can counter the seekers. Yep. Dang it. I don't know if you even can counter the the spear guys, so I don't know what it wants me to do. Maybe would be hilarious if knife countered them. He doesn't seem to be able to do anything. Game. It is a bit silly to throw enemy types without even a tooltip of like, this is their unique thing in combat. Because again, it doesn't seem like you can really do much. They sweep. Good for them. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to actually fight them. You're just supposed to grab them and cheese them. Game, there was already a guy left. Why would you do that? <laughs> and be like, ah, you're kind of out of combat. He's going to get a hit on you. And somehow... My dude... How did you miss all that was going on? You are a fool. And again, how did Jacopo survive all that? Well, goodbye, Jacopo. He survived getting stabbed in the gut, then through the neck, and now he dies by getting stabbed in the neck again. You know, rest in peace after I stabbed you in the neck. The conspirators. I killed them all. It has been a long time since we, like, met up with Desmond and the real-life people. Is Are we finally going to uh, bounce out of the Animus for a spell? Because I feel like he's been... that De De Desmond's been Ezio for a few years now. Brutes are fierce fighters protected by powerful armor and yet are still killed by... Uh, Hidden blade attacks. Seekers, I have no idea how to deal with them in combat except grab and kill. Cheese them. You want to fight these people legitimately? No. Cheese. Ah, we're back to Florence. Uh, two years in the future again? I think. It's been a bit since we saw the diddly dee. Lots of construction, yes, yes. Lots of construction, yes, yes. I get it, it's been a lot of construction! Anything weird in the world? Any grabbables? There's a race. But I don't care. Oh, I know. Uh, we'll go drop by. Uh, I think we've already got all the paintings, though. But it doesn't hurt to check out. I have lots of money! But I think we have all the Florentine paintings. But I shall check it out regardless, because what if I don't have all the Florentine paintings? Then I'd just look like a fool. Let me guess, I have all your... I don't know why, but my brain kind of thought that one painting was 3D-ish for a while. Nope, we got all the paintings here. Handle them. New treasure maps, okay. Excellent, sir. <laughs> I'm going to stab your whole family. Well, let's go meet up with Lorenzo de Medici. It's been two years since his family got stabbed a lot. Primarily his brother. But his brother was family. You get in my way, jerk. Please, just leave me alone. You leave me alone, man. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Well, they did kill your brother. Ezio. 
Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. The dream of holding infinite power. What will you do of Florence. Now, there are still others I must hunt, Signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. <laughs> no. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something. I'm going to save Venice Again. and its beautiful scenery. It'll be all this for me. This identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. They won't, but yeah. <laughs> will not grant you immunity from the It's law. understandable, but still. Que la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Safety and peace, Lorenzo. I have acquired the Medici Cape. Ah, it looks pretty good. Apparently there's a... Get your dirty hands off. <laughs> Notoriety will not increase in Tuscany. Or Florence. Nice. Now I'm guessing that we're going to touch base with Leonardo. I presume. But I don't think it's heading in the right direction for Leonardo's workshop. So I just wonder, where were we even going to go? And again, <laughs> Desmond has been Ezio within the memories for a few years now, memory time. Sure, probably not all the memories, but that's still a long time. Oh no, it is Leonardo's. Is it Leonardo's? Brain is dumb. Any new armor, fools? Ah, metal van braces. But I'll probably wait and buy all these when I get back to the the diddly dee, the villa. Leonardo. Mi dispiace, messer. He is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned. So I need to go to Venice anyway. To paint some portraits, he paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. I want to buy your entire existence and move you to a different frickin' place. To the mountains! Alright, we will... Yeah, we'll just do the fast travel, head to the villa, get our money, pay... Then we'll come back, go through the mountains... And we can do it at a better leaving point than Leonardo's place. And good thing I bought the diddly dee, the map to the mountains, for the mountains. Cape not effective in this area. I can't even be arrested. We have no guards. But at the same time, there's no reason to murder people in this place, but still. So yeah, I shall grab my money bonus. Then I will run. See, grab whatever armor and weapons there are. That don't break the bank too hard. Also, maybe should see if there's any... Like, bonus... Not bonus, but... Uh, upgrades at the tailor. I doubt it. But who knows... It's been two years. Maybe someone invented a smoke bomb pouch. A great metal work here. So first things first, we speak to you. Knife belt upgrade. Sure, we'll buy that. Oh, we didn't buy all these here. I am a fool. Pleasure. Grazie for your business. Grazie for your business. I still want to talk to you so that I can see. Nope, the no maps. Time, Makes sir. sense, but still. And finally, the one that'll probably drain my wallet the most. It is only metal van braces, but still. Weapons. No, scimitar is better. So we'll 
by the mace, then the scimitar, that will end up normal. Sultan's dagger is better speed, less, but less deflect. <laughs> no deflect, but better speed. I'll buy that and then buy the Sultan's knife. So I get the upgrades, but don't have to worry about equipping them back at the place. New weapons and armor unlocked at the villa. Cape is not affected in this area. And an upgrade of 172 florins per come back to villa payment diddly. All right. Take me to which gate? The east gate, so that we can immediately about face to the mountains. Then again, I could probably just have ran a uh, a horse back to Florence and then just done that, but mm, I got this idea in my head and then there it stuck the yes. Look at my shiny vambrace. I didn't put the seal in. My third seal of two. Of six. Oh well. Off we go, horse, to the mountains. To Venice. Presumably. The beautiful Italian mountainside. Wish the camera wouldn't automatically go like that. It is very rude to the me. Look at my shiny bracer. At least they fixed it so that you actually can swim in the game that takes you to Venice. Would be mean if they're like, we're going to send you to Venice and not let you swim. If you try to swim, you die. That's not where I want to go, game. Why would you have him facing that way when we just got here? Leonardo! It's you? What luck! I have... Uh... A broken I wheel. Into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. <laughs> Feel the power of an Ezio Auditore. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, Light. I shouldn't really talk about it. <laughs> Al diavolo. I can't hold it. I shouldn't talk about it. I shall. <laughs> I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> I jump from buildings every day. <sighs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Venice. It's been like two years. Have we even spoken those two years? Drive Leonardo's carriage towards Venice. Please do not note the chaotic scene in the thumbnail. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. There are aliens. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Yeah. Get in with the flying machine. Bring out the machine gun. They're trying to climb on board. Knock them off. Someone's on top. He's got turns to make the carriage roll. Get out. Get off. My carriage ride. Be gone, Satan. Get off my carriage. I do like this set piece. It's quite fun. I barely remember it, but it's nice, quick, and fun. Game's rather rude. Watch out. Someone's but the entire tactic of this air, this thing is to roll people off by going back and forth. And now they're setting the wood on fire. Hold on tight. 
going to be a little rough. Watch out behind you. Do something. You're the one that told me not to rock the carriage. And they lost a horse, we didn't die. What kind of arrows are these? Ah, oh, that's not nice. I don't know how to avoid that game. How would one even avoid that? Tree! Oh, Who even put all these barrels here? The Borgia cannot afford this many barrels. It is logistically impossible. I refuse to accept the existence of this many barrels. We're gonna make it so that you have to worry about tipping the cart over. Where are the branches that would be nice about now? We're almost there. These assholes are here. And there's no clear way of knocking them off. And he just disappeared. Good. You thought it's safe now to come out. They're here for me, not you. And catch up with you later. And I'll just stop here in this town. There he is. And there you are. You would have no training. That's why you're fighting me. Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of an assassination. I think I'll focus on you. Because... the jerk. Come on, fight me again. At least there are no seekers here, so I don't have to worry about that. Very rude. It's like you know I was attacking him. Rude! Stop! Now I can use my sword against you. How dare you be smart and be like, He's attacking my ally! I shall take this opportunity to fight back! How dare! Intelligent enemies in my video game? How dare. This guy looks like he died uh, grabbing a cookie jar cookie. His hand got caught in the cookie jar. And then he died. The true moral of the story. Don't take cookies. You'll die. Totally not the sugar. Race is unlocked. I hope it's ca I get to play as Khajiit. More courier assignments. More beat up events. More destruction of the universe. Again, we have not tuned in with Desmond in uh, years. Absolute years. It feels maddening because. In Assassin's Creed 1, we were touching base with him every single, like, every other hour. But oh well. I think that this will be a good stopping point. We did a lot. We met up with Leonardo. We entered an entirely new countryside. An entirely new city to devastate next time with an assassin tomb to boot. So I do think this would be a grand place to end. Also, we have 22222 money. That's too much money. But yes. Uh a lot of I think this this session was less aggravating, but still disappointing in the fact that 
a lot of the time when you're like, I want to do cool assassination plays, then the game says, no, you don't get to do that. They magically know that those thieves that are running by to distract the guards, oh, they're from you. And they just instantly hone on on you. It's like, you don't get to do cool assassination plays with the tools that you're given in this game. And that's just sad. And then the combat's still kind of wonky. It's like, we have to complicate the game. Uh, we got to complicate the fighting, the combat. And then I have no idea how to fight them. It's basically just counter the big guys with the hidden blades. Grab and kill the seekers with a sword. You just, it's less about learning to fight the enemies in this game and more about learning how to cheese them. And then... I think we've seen the last of Lorenzo, at least for this place. Maybe he'll send assassination missions to me in Venezia. In Venice. We killed all the... We killed an entire family. We killed the De Pazzi. Or just Pazzi. Because the De is like from... So it's like Jacopo of the Pazzi family. Leonardo from Vinci. Italian. Uh -huh. But yeah, still having lots of fun. Still annoying that the camera is like, We're gonna show you where to go and then alter your controls. Ha ha ha. But yeah, we've filled up the villa. We got lots of paintings. Got lots of armor. Things are going good. And now it's mostly doing, 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 doing. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel that all of these here streams eventually end up on. Neon Icy Games. And if you're already one of those people watching the archives of Neon Icy Games, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then, if you want to catch me playing these games live, you can see when I'll go live on the schedule tab of the Twitch channel, or you can follow me on Twitter, in which I'll throw out a tweet saying, hey, I'm going live playing this game, and then I delete the tweet when the stream is over so as not to confuse people. But yeah, and if you'd like to see more of my art, like my little avatar in the corner, you can catch me posting various arts on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Mm, but yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.